Join Planet Fitness today and get more epic energy and better sleep with tons of equipment in our clean and spacious clubs. Join for $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Wednesday, September 14th. It's glow time. See club for details. Welcome to CoPlay Media, a look inside the world of video games, anime, and the Blurred community. And now, here are your hosts, Diers and Demo. And here we got, yo, we got DJ Taylor Senpai returning, man. Yes, welcome awesome. back, bro. The return. Awesome. The return. We got Demo here, man. Demo got some news for us, yo. man. I don't know how to how we gonna say it. Yo. But he's had a revelation. He's had an experience, guys. <sighs> Blurcon was amazing. <laughs> say it one more time. The Blurcon was amazing. Blurcon was amazing, dog. Yeah. Oh my God! I can't say it. Like, like, thanks to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, thanks to DC Radio. You know, thanks to BlurCon. Like, thanks to Hilton, Kyle, Max, everybody who helped us get there, helped us get everything done. Like, you know, shout out to to Bo Billingsley, yeah, man. Rachel True, Estelle yeah. for being out there, man. For get, for whatever time, the pictures and anything that they could give us, we really appreciate them. Absolutely. Uh Rob, MTR, and them guys for helping us out. Oh, and shout out to Rob. Shout out yep. to Rob and them, you Big know what Rob. I'm saying? Like, for, for helping us cover it. Because yep. it's just so much stuff going on. We just had to just, like, we were, like, flying out teams and stuff. And it, it was wow. ridiculous, man. Yeah. And, you know, so much to cover, man. How you doing, man? What's going on, man? I'm doing great. I'm, like, recovering from Blair Con. <laughs> yeah, man. He was turning up. I mean, it was, I was turning up, man. It was like, I think mean, that this year was the biggest one. This I've year was so amazing. Far. Like, yeah. it was amazing. I don't know how else to, to, to say it. Like, yeah. everything was hot, dog. Yeah. I was highly impressed. I was I was ecstatically impressed, yo. I'm, I'm glad y'all love it. This is uh, year three that we double the numbers this year. Wow. And yeah. Was it was it a doubling? Because I think what, what was last year was like 2,000, 3,000 that mm-hmm. came and you guys doubled it. So it was like six, 7,000. Oh, yeah. That's the turnout crazy. was crazy. The turnout was was Just the was lobby huge. alone. I was like, yo. Yeah. This is wild. Yeah. And, and it, like so many original ideas that I've never seen at any other convention before. Mm-hmm. And I loved it. Like mm-hmm. it was amazing. And but w- before we get into it, before we get into it, like, how's your state, man? Like, how, how are you feeling? I know you're recovering. You got the electrolytes going in. You got the Gatorade going. Yeah, man. I mean, I was just like. You know, I had to go to work, you know, like an adult. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You still had to do that adulting? Just, still had to do the adult morning, thing. You know? And what I like about, uh, I'm just feeling good. Just like energetic. I'm um, just happy that people enjoy themselves at BlurCon. Mm-hmm. They come to me. They welcome me. Treat me like I'm a famous DJ. But I keep telling them I'm just a regular guy. So, yeah. but they like, nah, you just, you're famous now. Get over it. I was like, okay. Famous <laughs> now, bro. You <laughs> famous, like, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. You, you, you were the star. I was like, like, I saw you getting on there. I was like, yo, DJ, <laughs> elevator door was closed. And I was like, almost like fanned out on you. I was like, man, I was this like, is crazy. Everywhere I, I go, myself. <laughs> everywhere I go, it's Senpai. I'm like, oh my Senpai. gosh. <laughs> but I did that to myself because I post on Facebook, if you see me and you don't scream out Senpai, because I'm just gonna, I'm just going to smile and cover my face. And I was like, <laughs> I, I set myself up for that. And wow. next, you know, every five seconds I turn around, Senpai, oh my God, I get ran into a hug or yeah. picture taking videos I'm man. like man I'm like the man, man. And, and I'm really grateful for that man when you create really that do. atmosphere you know what I'm saying when you create when you charge that crowd the way you do man like that's the kind of response that you yeah. get you know you're killing it that's oh, how you know God. you're killing the game dog I appreciate it man, man. It's, it's a grateful opportunity man. heck yeah like I know we're about to go into BlurCon I know we're pretty much going to talk about BlurCon this whole yeah. show right like that's pretty much our plan yes I just want to make sure is there anything else that we want to talk about before going into it. There'll be like one more thing after this, but is there anything besides that we're going to get straight to? 
Third kind. Uh, my uh, well, I got an upcoming event. Um, Otakon in Washington DC. It's yep. the end of the end of the month of July. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be DJing host, and the host is uh, Maki Road, the blessed um, dancer cosplayer. Yeah, yep. and also a young lady named Neptune from the Suicide Girls. Oh, okay. so they would be hosting, and they'd be giveaway prizes from Third Eye Comics and wow. Infinity Fans. So shout out to Sonic Boom Boss. They my I'm the official DJ there. So I love those guys, and we'd be yes. located. Located at Spin DC, the ping pong lounge. So yes. I want to give a big huge shout out to Spin. So yeah, shout out to Spin, man. I love it, dog. Yeah, awesome. man. Got some stuff going on. All right, so all right. Much. So if there's anything, there's a lot of new albums that came out. Like I'm just a huge fan of Chris Brown. Like I actually, I'm not a huge fan of Chris Brown. I just heard Indigo, oh, and that album oh. was amazing. But is there anybody that? Any songs that y'all have listened to recently that are just vicious? You know what I'm saying? Like, just man, uh, I'm be I. I'm not a fan of Chris Brown, but I know, I know, I know. he has, he like has 40 songs. Like it was that. like yeah, and yeah. they're bangers too. That's yeah, why I was like, man, all forty, all forty. Oh, uh, it's, like them, it's like thirty. Them. It's like yeah. thirty. It's like thirty of them. It's like I'm about to say that's an impressive album. Yeah, man. it's like thirty <laughs> songs and like fifteen <laughs> songs are like hot. Like, I don't know how you spend so much studio time yeah, for making 30, 40 <laughs> snacks. I'm like, man. Hey, man, the, live in the studio. Man, Chris Brown is yeah. dancing and singing for his life. Dog. Hey, yeah. hey, man. When, Child yeah. support, dog. He, he got really, kids. He, you know? really oh, yeah. uses, he really uses yeah. that karate, man. He, he really needs just, that. He just, he, he really. <laughs> My man, Chris Breezy's like, I'm working every day for 365. Hey. That's it. Every day. No and then um, uh, Gucci Man album came out recently. Oh, so yeah. I can't check that out yet. Yeah. 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 Enjoying fire, so it, it I, is I, played, fire. I played some of his hits oh, uh, yeah. over the weekend. So people enjoyed it. Oh yeah, there's yeah, some I, there's I, some awesome folks out there. Yeah, I listened to that uh that Tyler the Creator. That oh Eagle. yeah, oh yeah, hey, that earthquake, hey, that earthquake go yeah. hard. Oh geez. my god! <laughs> I, then the, on my beginning set, someone actually cosplay as Tyler the Creator Yo, and had the, the suit in the suit. wig. Yeah, oh, yeah, he was right there. <laughs> That's like, brilliant. That's why brilliant. was not? When Yo, I didn't think about it, I could have played that song. Played why that he song, was right there? That whole video, yeah, is lit, dog. Yeah, it's lit, man. I was like, it's oh my god, super lit. Tyler the Creator is he a funny. He, he, he's he's, he's pretty it. funny. Yeah. Like he's super funny. Yeah. Also, Big yeah. Crick came out with a new album. Oh recently. yeah. Oh, that joke. Bang, bang, oh yeah. uh, burner. I don't know if you guys listen to burner and currency. Like, I don't know, currency, if, like, cur- yeah, currency, currency yes. yeah, I, yeah. Like, burner is, I guess, more of like a West Coast LA type oh, rapper. Oh, I think yeah. that's what it is. Like, he's just not familiar here in these in these parts. Yeah, that's actually the first time I've ever heard him. Just now. Yeah, yeah. Not everybody is a fan of him. Okay. Not everybody's a fan. Oh yeah. But so. uh, is there anybody else? Is there anything else that we want to talk about before going into? All things work on. Um, I just want to say I had experience um, last week, last Ooh. two weekends ago at Anime Expo in LA. Okay. Anime Expo, um, yeah. Oh, you were Anime Expo in LA. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh. Man. my man's went out there, man. Yo, they have a lot of they had like a lot of celebrities oh, out there, like YouTube celebrities it, galore. It's not even. It's you not got even funny. food out, bro. Yeah. Jeez, you are a celebrity. What are you <laughs> yeah, you you got wait. Yeah, you got <laughs> flown out. Too. You made it, man. You, you humbled the fuck. <laughs> I was like, wow. I mean, you never thought you'd see stuff on TV and movies, and it's like, wow, you see the palm trees, nice weather. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, crazy Dang people. I tell but, you, like, I went to San Diego once, and it was like, this is amazing. Like, California is just an amazing state. Yeah. Yeah. The whole it is thing. beautiful. It is beautiful. The, the weather, yeah. you know, the people, it's just like on a crazy scale. Like, I don't know if they just, everyone just works out, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and everybody's conscious. Oh my god! It's self conscious, very health conscious. <laughs> and uh, Adam Expo was beautiful. My first time experience. It's massive. It's big. Like wow. it's like Dragon Con on the East Coast. Uh, like it's that big. That's and, strong words. Yeah, it's it's really. So that's it's, like a, a hundred thousand people yeah. plus is what? there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's like, a lot of people. That's huge. Like Dragon Con is like 180, 150,000 people. Mm-hmm. Like Anime Expo is probably be like second. Like yeah. they're close. They're close. And they're strong second too. Like they ain't nothing to, to golf at. Like uh, the absolutely. logistics yeah. of that must be crazy. It's crazy. Especially oh, yeah. the, uh, the you, at the party. Oh, um, yeah. We had, before the at the party, I ran into a YouTuber, King Vader. King like, Vader. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My homeboy took a picture with King Vader. I was like, bro, you talking to people. I'm like, yo, King Vader is vicious, yo. Is coolest, most down to earth guy yeah. ever. Can um, that man not grow facial hair? He can. <laughs> All right. I just 
wonder because like, like I don't know how old this man is. Like, oh, oh, King Vader is like like twenty, like early twenty, early twenties. He's a kid, baby yeah. face. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> early in the game. He just really, he's just that good. Like he's been doing it for like what was it like four or five years? Oh yeah. Yeah, wow, he yeah just, be, I, I like the videos. Oh, crazy oh, videos! Fire, like, fire videos, yeah, man. Like, and so um, he came to the party. We all had a great time. I had him on stage. Oh, uh, we just partied it out. It was amazing. So, oh, um, shout out to my man Micah Moore. He's uh, the videographer for the covering footage of the party. It was just amazing. Um, we get a chance on Instagram. I'll have the footage shown what mm-hmm. it looked like. Okay. Shout out to Sonic Boombox. And um, we had an industry party the next day. I had got a chance to shake hands with the CEO of Funimation. What? Um, yeah. What? C- the CEO <laughs> of Funimation. You made it, cuz. What you right. talking about? Like, <laughs> like no, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm just so. here. I'm just passing through. I'm just here, guy. Nah, man. The CEO nah, of Funimation nah. shook my head. Yeah. <laughs> And then yeah, I, met, uh, I met executives uh, from Crunchyroll. I met other <sighs> executive chairmen from on, uh, right. Anime NYC to other um, executives um, from different cons. Um, all because of Sonic Boombox. I rolled with them. They introduced me to these guys. And next thing you know, networking is like real. Yo, like yo. they change yeah. And it's crazy how it just happens. That like, fast. You just, yo. That fast. That's all. All it needs is one. All it needs is one hot connect, man. Yeah. That's all you need. And that's the plug. Thing, opportunities, man. And it happens. <laughs> I'm <was> so <laughs> grateful. I was on Facebook telling people I'm so grateful this opportunity Yo. is happening right now, and my Yo. email is like booming. I'm just like, wow. So, dang, that's great. crazy. That's an amazing experience. That's crazy. That's Great crazy. time at, at Raspo, man. Gotta go there one day. Uh, I'm gonna go. go there. I'm trying to work my way up to your level, man. Like, like one day, like sheesh. hopefully one day we'll I'll get up to that level. Once I'm on that level, I'm bringing everybody so, with me. Hey, Look, hey, hey, go, to up, the, go to the ticket booth and your tickets are ready. They're there. You know, <laughs> just bring yourself. <laughs> You know, just come through. Bring, I'm gonna bring Coldplay with media with us so they can get full coverage. Yes, like, just yes. Come through. Yo, see, that's what we talking about. Yeah. That's what's up, that's man? What that's what we do for the community, man. <laughs> look out for one another. We look out for one another. Yeah, I love it for sure, man. So we got we got to get into it, man. All right, so we got it's a weird experience because I don't know if I'm like a, like an old school or a convention veteran, you know what I'm saying? But I guess yeah. I've been doing it for a while. We got you who have actually like entertained at the convention, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The DJ, the MC of the event, and we have Demo, who's brand new, man. We got oh, I don't yeah, know, man. I still don't know how I'm exactly what I'm phrasing these a, words yet, but I'm a I'm a Convention novice, man. This was my first time yes. ever wow. going out to a yes. convention, and I must say, the words do it. Ju- like people try to explain to you how great conventions are. Like, oh, yo, this was there. This person, I, yeah. this was going. I keep trying to tell them. I keep trying to tell them until <laughs> you get there and you see the scale and just everybody that's out here dressed up, cosplaying, the artwork. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yo, talented people. It was crazy. I'm artwork like, was off the chain. these people exist yeah. this many in one area. Like the artwork was amazing. I was blown away. Yeah, I, I, I lost half my money. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah, and I was I afraid of if I started buying stuff that I was gonna lose control. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. I got. I started getting those big head things. Those, the, oh yeah. The big oh, head see. things. I got the semi from yeah, coming see. to America. What? Yes. I was like, that joint is like, so hard. I gotta get super it, bro. Super rare, probably. That's, you that's, know what I'm saying? That hyper rare joint. I had to get it, bro. I had to get it. Man, that's worth that's worth money, right there. I'm I sure. hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I, I would think so. Good. I didn't even know they would make one of him. I I didn't know either. I just saw it. Wait, is he in the McDonald's? No, no, he's in the uh, the traditional African garb. Oh, right. oh it's yeah. probably not that rare. Then. Yeah, the yeah. McDonald's one. Yeah, that's rare. the rare joint right there. The one no, with that come with the mop. <laughs> <laughs> what was the what was it? McDonald's? Or, McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's. <laughs> that should go hard, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> man, that was crazy. So yeah, yeah, like dog, just tell me about the story of it. Like, how'd you feel about it? So like, driving up, I'm on the phone. With oh, one yeah. of my co workers, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, man, talking about working. So I'm like, hold up. I got to stop you. <laughs> I'm on my way to this convention, and there's a lot of Chun Li's outside, and they looking real Chun Li ish. <laughs> like, so, um, <laughs> I was like, I, I got to call you back. I got to call you back. Like, this is about to be crazy. So I'm put the phone down, trying to find parking. Clutch. I found seven dollar parking. Yeah. Oh, so the yeah. hotel was trying to charge like sixty bucks. It was like forty five dollars. Like, like no. 
Nope. Dude was like, oh, you might want to catch the train. I was like, I'm not doing that. Nope. Hey, I'm hey, I appreciate that. you for putting me on, too. Because when I went back, like, I, I used that parking right there. I, told like, you, I was like, it's right behind the hotel. Right yeah. I was like, it was right behind the hotel. It was weekend race. I was mm-hmm. like, I'm yes. just about to go in here. It can't be that bad. So, park, walk out the building, start walking up to the place. And just the energy you could feel coming out of this hotel with all these people with the same interest in their costumes. I'm like, this is amazing. Yeah. I'm like, I'm home. Like, I, I was like, I was like, I'm in my element. Like, I, I don't feel nervous. Like, it's, I, I, like I'm calm. This like, is great. It, it, it is just like the tiny things, you know, like Eddie Gord, Eddie, two Eddie Gordos yo, doing yeah, capoeira in the yeah. back, in the background. You know what I'm saying? But the crazy part was, it's like, yo, a random person joined him. I was like, why does this <laughs> random guy know capoeira? He just kicked off his shoes. Yeah, like, yeah, hey, I can do it too. Yeah, like, <laughs> then he was like, yo, let me take my socks off. I was like, yo, like yo, serious <laughs> about the capoeira? Yeah, like, it was crazy. It was crazy. But just walking in, it was like mind blowing because it's like everything. People told me didn't compare to what I had saw. And I was like happy and just proud at the same time. <laughs> it was like, yo, we representing out here. Like, I'm I wasn't really dressed out. I was trying to give off some Roshi vibes, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, trying yeah, to give yeah, off yeah. Roshi. I had I had some shorts on, it was cut above the knee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was comfortable. Had yeah. my had my hat on and you know, but uh yeah, man. I was amazed. I was like, man, <laughs> one man, Hilton pulled this together and somehow all these people came together. Yeah. I, I, when I look at it, just all the merchants alone, like I didn't even know about that whole other floor yeah, that yeah. went into that whole it other area yep. until someone told me. And then I went in there. I'm like, what? Like, and then it, it keeps, keeps going, going back. back. I'm like, yeah, what? It keeps it, going back. Yeah. Like, it keeps going back. I'm like, dang, like. Mm-hmm. It, it, it was much it, the whole event was much larger than I ever thought that it would be man that's crazy, crazy. yeah and, and I guess like for well, I guess I could ask you both of you guys what would be like the most surprising part of this experience in your opinion I guess from the the novice perspective mm-hmm. and the the OG perspective like so I can say for me definitely what hit the like what hit me the hardest was like the artwork yeah. right so you see these graphic novels and the quality of the art like yeah. just on the commercial scale right but then you walk in to this blurred con vendor alley thing and <laughs> it's like yo this is some of the best artwork i've ever seen in my life yes <laughs> hands down even down to the like uh the crochet Remember the uh, young lady that had the Mareep crochet yes. outfit? She had the whole crochet oh, like yeah, bathing like, suit Lord. that <laughs> went into the Mareep thing. Like I'm like, yo, I was like, man, skills. I was like, who made this for you? Did you make this? She's like, yeah, mm-hmm. I made it. There's also another couple down there yeah. that does this. Mm-hmm. Also, I was like, ah. Oh. And they were just making stuff on demand. They were just like, what do you want? What you want? Some yeah. pants? You want a hat? What you want? A sweater. And they I just like start, that too just start because, crocheting. You know, my mom's does crocheting like it's nothing. <laughs> so to see that people actually will wear this as a costume, I'm like, here we go. Mm-hmm. I was like, mom's about to get involved. I was about to get paid. We all about to get paid in here. Like we skills to... one way or the other. Like exactly. It was like. Amazing. Crocheting <laughs> at an anime convention. Like, come on. Come on. You're making crocheting hot, dog. Never like, would have thought I would have saw that, but now I know it exists. And yeah. now I got to let her know, like, hey, people like this, though. I, I, I mean, the <laughs> I think I, mom should go ahead and make, make, I make, a, so. make a, a shop. I, I, saw, I, right so. I saw some dudes with, called, uh, with the board games, with the board game called Rap Gods. Damn, and oh, yeah. Making board God. games. Oh, man. Like, the ideas, the creativity was off the chain, yeah. man. Definitely off it. the chain. Like, okay, so what was, like, the greatest misconception of what you heard in the past and what versus what you saw at this convention? Like, when people talk about conventions, you know, was people really in there, like, hella rancid? I know I was sweating bullets, but was you it know like... what? Nah. It wasn't... It wasn't as bad. Like, it could have been. It could have been yeah. way worse. But it wasn't. It wasn't, yeah. And it might be because people know, like, it can get bad. It can, it can be... The, it the can smell, be... like, people are out here with their shoes off, doing mm-hmm. cap away mm-hmm. and stuff. Would have never known. I wasn't. Known. There was no odors. 
There was no like weird typical funks. weird yeah. funks. <laughs> mm-hmm. yep. Like it was an all around pleasant experience. Oh, and huh, <laughs> misconception. <laughs> you, when you think of like nerds, right? Mm-hmm. Like us, like, yeah. You know. <laughs> You don't think of these women <laughs> that are out here <laughs> wearing these costumes Lord being Jesus. as attractive as they were. Now, these are married man. Yeah. Senpai has a girlfriend, yeah. and I'm just in here like, wow. <laughs> I've been missing out on this this whole time. A lot of a lot of a lot of good stuff out there, man. There's a lot, a lot of, of good stuff. A lot of good stuff out there. A lot there. of curves. Just, a lot yeah. of, oh, goodness, the curves. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of tiger stripes. Y'all know about the tiger stripes. No say. No say. Yo. But don't sleep. The ladies are beautiful. That the costumes amazing. are amazing. Yeah. The craftsmanship yeah. is all top notch. And yeah, Spider Man was out there in full effect. Oh man, like <laughs> forty five Spider Mans. First of all, shout out to those Spider Mans because I know y'all had to be dying out there in that weather. Man. Like it was hot. I don't know how they do it. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna offer them a bottle of water. You need something, sir? I can't something? even drink it. I can't even drink it, man. <laughs> I'm like, you really gonna commit, aren't you? I'm Spider Man. I'm Spider Man. Uh, uh, especially this one Spider Man had the, the yellow jacket from the movie for our, uh, Homecoming. I'm like, dude, man. are you serious? You, know, you really gonna rock that well, hoodie, my man? Somebody was well, out there in the full trench coat. Spider Man to walk. All black. I'm like, bro, you gotta stop. You gotta, like, come out of that because I know it's all black. <laughs> It was oh. 98 degrees outside. Yeah. Oh, man. No shade. There was no shade. Whatsoever. Oh, my God. It was so bright. It was like the, pa- <laughs> it was like the sun was painful. It was, it was yeah. painful to go outside for me. Like I, I, like, I didn't get sunburnt, but I felt as if it could have happened. See, one day. here's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was I- out there talking about. Hey, we black. We don't get some, bro. I was like, Are you tripping. <laughs> uh, I was like, yo, Andre, what's going on, man? My skin is hurting. I'm not like, exactly you tripping, sure. dog. It's like, we definitely could get some, bro. It's it happening. darker, bro. I was like, you, you are misinformed, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was hot out there. Yeah. I was worried my man D was out there sweating. I was like, yo, you good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. Yo, I, I can't stress how much I was dying, Let's man. Let's hit this uh, fruit infused. Yo, the water Jones was fruit infused. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. The mm-hmm. fruit infused water. Hey, and shout out to, to the An- DC Anime Club. You know, yeah. of all the conventions that I've gone to, they're always there and they're mm-hmm. always having a showing. And this is like the first time that I actually went into their anime yeah, showing. So. <laughs> It is like the so. Tell them why we went in. <laughs> oh my god! I already know. So so we 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 went to because they had the twenty four seven food trucks, right? Yeah. So we went to we were talking to this other dude in a different food truck. Oh. <laughs> then the whole boy came by and he like walked up to us with the mean like you got to come over here yo, waving us in. He was like yo, and he was like yo, come. the ribs, the ribs, and we were like oh ribs, and yeah. we we all started running. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we like talking to each other like yo, where are we running to, bro? It's like, like yo, bro, he got the, the ribs. Brisket. Yeah, oh, like the bro, ribs God, and the bro. brisket. Man. <laughs> Yo, it was so it was so bad. This man was like got his food, opened it up for us, and it was like that shining light moment. Like, oh, oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah. Like, oh it's like oh. I was like, oh my God. Oh, he's like, yeah. And we were like, yeah. yo, we can't eat outside. Like, we can't stay, we can't we can't live and eat outside yeah, at the like, same time. Can't enjoy it out here, baby. We gotta find some shade or something. You think that dude with the board game will let us sit at his table? <laughs> 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 what if we play the game with us? We can eat the ribs. <laughs> I was like, nah. So then I was like, all right, let's go sit at this table. Then the lady was, nah, baby, you can't sit in here. This is a restaurant. We were like, oh. <laughs> like, yeah, restaurant. She was like, yeah, you can't bring food. You can sit in here, but you can't eat. You can't so eat. we was like, dang. Wait, where are we going right. home, man? So we started walking around just wandering aimlessly with this food. <laughs> I think we ran to Chris. I think we ran to the president of the DC Anime Club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we was like, "Yo, what if we go in there?" I was like, "Why not?" I, I was like, yeah. "The funny part is, I didn't really want to directly ask." Him. I was just like, "Hey, Chris, what's going on, man?" Like, uh-huh. I just hoping he wasn't just going to shun us with the bags. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was like, "Come on, man, come yep. on in, dog." But 
It was a haven from the heat oh, yeah. and everything. It, it was, was dark. Cool. Yeah, it was cool. I saw some new anime. Saw some new anime. Like it was just a win all like, around. Bamers anime. was in that oh, joint yeah. crushing pizzas. I was like, "This is where you're supposed to come, yeah, to eat your food." They had some. They had some brand new. They had Fire Force in there. They were showing yes. Fire Force at one point. Yep, yep, that was awesome. What's they that had, other uh, one? Uh, Doctor Stone. Doctor Stone. Stone. Sweet and Carol or something. Yeah. Carol and Tuesday. some other girl. Tuesday. Yeah, Carol and Tuesday. What was it? What was it called? Uh, do you? Oh, Dude, you love your mom? Oh, yeah, yeah the yeah, Essie, the Essie mom, Kai. About you. Hey, that yeah. was the hardest one, yeah. bro. That was, like, the most relatable. Like, that's the one I, like, Do I would actually go and watch. And her two-hit multi-target attacks. Yes. That was the longest name ever. But I Do was you like, love your mom and her two-hit multi-target attacks. This is one of the best attacks, anime yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. 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 It, it was so hilarious. It and was, you know what? That experience was good, too. And I was wondering, gave me an idea. That I'm gonna keep to myself for now, but <laughs> but watching anime like that in that kind of setting was like great. It yeah. made it ten times better because everybody's in there and we're laughing. Oh yeah, yeah. Those like, chicks who are cosplaying or mentioning stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you right, girl. Like, chiming yeah. in like that. It was black people in the movie theater. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you're going to talk to the movie, and it was fun. Like, you better respect yeah. your mama. I'm like, he better respect his mama. Yeah, I apologize. Oh, yeah. Smack we, that kid. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, dude, for real. <laughs> like, everybody was just chiming in. I was like, man, this is a great experience. Oh, yeah. I, was, I loved it. It was I great. It. I, want, I want to give those guys a shout out real quick. Yeah, for in, sure. In, in your opinion, between OG and Novice, how could Blurred Con could have been any better? Better? Wow. Let's see. Um, I guess... Um. Wow, just more more people and oh, uh, matter of fact, um, more, more cooperation, ads. more cooperation with the hotels. Yeah, because you know, some there was there has been numerous times of um, yeah. miscommunications and yeah. stuff. So oh, okay, like I remember I got an interview with Bo Billingsley and we were we, I was excited. I was like, dang, we got a we got a we got an interview with Bo Billingsley. And we're like we're trying to get him in there, and then he was just like, yeah, we can go into the the, the boardroom, the boardroom, mm-hmm. and we're like, yes. We can get to the boardroom. It was a nice boardroom. It was yeah, a nice yeah. boardroom. We get up to the boardroom. The boardroom is locked. Uh, and locked. we were like, mm-hmm. what is going on? <laughs> we, Bo Billingsley is not going to sit here and wait forever. Yeah. I see him. He got his, his, he got his little... He had uh, his whole luggage. He like, had his oh, luggage. Mm-hmm. He was ready to roll out. So I'm he like, left us hanging, actually. I, yo. At first. I was like, yo, it's 6 o'clock. Dude was like, man. We, we got 10, we, 10 we more minutes. Get, we got to get this. 10 minutes, we're going to go find him. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to find Bo, man. We're going to get him. But Bo Billingsley was like uh, one of the coolest older black guys that I've ever met. Oh, ever. yeah. Like, absolutely. You can talk to that man about anything and he'll talk to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He'll start the conversation. Like, he's very open and personable. Very personable. Man. Yeah. yeah. Very, like, nice older guy vibe yeah. from oh, him. Yeah. You know? Definitely got that down south uh Charisma, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you guys were hitting it off with the tennis. I know, man. We were talking about Wimbledon. I was like, man, oh, yeah. I was like, you yeah. guys are getting into it, yeah, man. man. I, I started playing tennis pretty heavy. Oh yeah, I, to <laughs> I had to get back in shape. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had to get back in shape, baby. So I, I picked up a racket, and I've been loving it ever since. Maybe that's Dang. why I was dying in there. I'm just fat. Like, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> just fat, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, D is roasted in yeah. here. Just, <laughs> we just need some potatoes and, and celery. <laughs> yo. Yeah, you know, I was feeling it afterwards. I was like, man, I, do I feel in my abs all of a sudden. I was like, oh, I forgot I had it. Like, D came out there looking like Escanor. From selling the seven daily <laughs> <laughs> hey, just, just, just transformed, baby. <laughs> looking. <laughs> It was crazy. It was crazy. It seemed out of those. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what would you like to see at the next convention, though? If you could add anything else besides uh, more people, I'm not going to lie. I told him this many times. Let's have a basketball court. Yo. <laughs> Yo. You know what? Yo, put it in the parking lot with the food truck. Yo. Man. I'm serious. Oh, I'm, I'm serious. 
If we have a basketball court, that's all we need, man. We got a lot of brothers and sisters that <laughs> yeah. want to play ball. Like, yo. yo, them Bamas was athletic too. Yeah, yo, yeah, man. A lot of people were athletic in there. They were doing spins and stuff. Like, oh, yeah. dude was in shape. Look at Killmonger. He looked like he about to yeah. fight the Black Panther. Like, it was great. Really, and the yo. Prowler dude was killing it. Shoot, two on two basketball tournament. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch yeah. that. Why? Take it off the game. Because I sort of had NBA Jam down there. They did have yeah, NBA Jam down there. I ain't get a chance to, to school nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, you know, I got a Super Nintendo. I still play. Yeah, 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 yeah. I figured yeah. out of the days. Yo, I'll be in that joint playing. I still love that. Ooh, uh, <laughs> that was yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, uh, man. Okay, okay. Uh, I guess last one. Um, what do you think they could have done or what do you think can be done to make these kind of conventions more accessible to people who don't usually go who have never been to before like <laughs> like if like is it just as simple as me showing a picture of the Bowsettes for the homie to be hey, like yo, all right i'm gonna go next time like i did that to my mans and he said yep <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, look, my man jose is from like argentina or something right so he's yeah. like yo so would I stand out? Like, he's a tall Hispanic guy, too. So oh, he's, yeah. like, not normal, right? Oh, love and, it, and he has, like, a handlebar mustache. Oh. Yo, so he's like, yo, would I stand out? I was like, probably. But... But they still gonna like But it was still a good like mix. It, it was yeah. a, it was mostly black people because it was a blurred con- yeah, convention. Yeah, but they had a lot it was of a good like, mix. Yeah, it was a good still mix. Still a good mix of yeah. races in there. Absolutely. And I was like, bro, come out. Like, yeah, it's lit. I was like, this is what you missed. Because I told him about it. And he was like, I might try to come out. I try. I'm like, show him another, show him yeah. another cosplay picture. Exactly. <laughs> like, look, look, just, look, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. And just swipe through, through like, all, like, like, all these was in there. Like, all these was in there. Because he like man. the ladies, man, too. So he's sitting there twirling his mustache. Like, all right. I missed <laughs> out this time. I'm going to make sure I put it on my calendar <laughs> for next year. I was like, bet. See, I got one. Got but one. With that being said, I think, I think the marketing mm-hmm. could try to maybe reach out more. I don't know if they got to do like a Google ads type thing or something just so it could reach a lot more people because mm-hmm. I feel like I only knew about it because I knew about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you were we were we were readily searching that kind of information out where we were able to find it, you know, yeah. only by going to other conventions and running into a booth one day yeah. and we mm-hmm. run into Hilton and be like, oh, oh, like yeah. we followed the call to music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're just like, like, especially if it's going to be in this area, you put it in those little free... Metro newspapers or something yeah. like that. I haven't rode the Metro. I don't know if they actually did that, but that would be a great idea. I read idea. it. I read it. I read yeah. it when I take the Metro. Yeah, I still yeah. read them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think other people do. But that'll be a perfect place. Awesome. But I feel like putting it out there more. I think the more people they get like this mm-hmm. year, mm-hmm. that'll spread the word more definitely. Absolutely. Um, I think everybody's going home. It's like, yo, man, BlurCon was like, Blur Con, yeah. so you can't get that nowhere else. Like, yeah. I was going to actually ask. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. I was actually going to ask, like, what kind of ways, you know, in your opinion, was BlurCon different? Well, I guess I can only ask. I can only yeah. ask. Yeah, I can only ask you, DJ. Tell, how was BlurCon? Expert, expert DJ Marksman. <laughs> 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 like, how would you... Say it's different. It's different. Um, a lot more people. A lot. Um, so much activities. Um, I, I tend to like like at least twelve panels this year. This past weekend, it was a lot, and all because my friends and they done a great job. And also the what really made it different from last year the arcade session. Um, normally had that your whole circular arcade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This time they cut like a half of it and make it into like a stage for where DJs can play their music. I really like that idea, and that was perfect. Yeah, and it could be you could play from an hour or two and then swap the next DJ, and you just keep a routine so people notice like who's this guy, and then you know get the information. Yeah. And they just go from there. So. I, I actually love that structure because it kind of like one of those things is like back in the day when like when people used to like break dance and play video yep. games and the video game yep. arcades was right next to where they break dance right. and then people like in the center were like break dancing, yeah, congregating yeah, yeah. and dancing. Like I love that aspect of it because it was like one of those things that kind of merged the two parts together, yep. you know? 
Yeah. And, and it was seamless. They did that. That yeah. perfect. Seamless. I was like, I mean, DJs were switching out. And I was like, who up there now? I, yeah. It was just like showing up like, oh, God, they got a new one. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. You could tell because the music was just like, it would just be a little bit different. I like, saw okay. a young lady up there DJing. She would look like she was having a good mm-hmm. time. Yeah. I was like, wow, this is great. And yeah. we saw the tournaments in there, tournaments yeah. going on. I, I missed the tournaments, on. dog. So it looked like they had a Tecmo Bowl joint, yeah. mm-hmm. NBA Jam, Mortal Kombat. I ain't touching Mortal Kombat. <laughs> nah, I'm no nah, good. It's, it's too D, late. Look, D was asking me, he was like, man, are you any good at fighting games? I was like, nah, bro. I'm nah. mediocre. <laughs> Don't get into Smash Bros. Man. too. I'm like, yo. I, it was one of those nah, things where you realize you watch. Ain't the same. Like I realized, I was, I was like, let me sit down and play these young ripper snappers real nah, quick. Like, what are nah, you guys playing? Nah. Let me give this. Oh, oh God! Like, like you had the same like, muscle yeah. muscle memory. Yes. Yeah. Nah. I got I got washed like uh, dirty clothes on a Sunday afternoon. Wow. Man. It was just just it was just real easy for them to do it. Did you hop on the sticks at all, DJ? Nah, I ain't, yeah, ain't touched that. I, yeah. man. I was so busy trying to like every time everywhere Boy, I go, I get chicks, stopped. Right? Man, yeah. I got stopped by fan like yeah. it's very good supporters. <laughs> they was like everywhere I go, sit by like, hey. hey. And I see you later. Sit by oh hey, group you, picture. You, okay. You know cool. How how high pitched the voice is. It's all women. Oh yeah. Like, like, you know like what? my girlfriend right here, baby. Come on, like, I, yeah, I was about to say, like, so how is it dealing <laughs> with the fangirl situation <laughs> when you got a girl? Like, how does that go? Like, is it easier? With it's, you, it's, though. it's cool. Uh, me and my girl, we have great communications. Uh, she <laughs> understand that I have fans, and you know she don't take it personal because you know it's, it's it's she 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 knew like when when I st- when we started dating, she's like okay, as long as they not doing things very impro- inappropriate, they just want a hug and a selfie. That's it. Keep it simple. Want keep to it work a little bit. Yeah, you know I was about to say, which leads to our next question. That's the thing. She don't mind uh, at, at the parties. Yes, it's cool because it's just dancing. Yeah, but yeah, if it's yeah. like, but just in the elevator, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. If they were to catch you at Wendy's, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> would it be proper to twerk yeah. on you? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Did you get a free frosty afterwards. Like, can I please twerk on you? <laughs> I was like, I'm, fro- I'm frosty. I was like, oh, oh I'm bust down. <laughs> I <was> like, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all <Yolo. laughs> nah. like, But what if you like this? Like they twerking in your hands, like baby, look, I ain't doing I nothing. Do Literally nothing. <laughs> like she, she would, she would let them know. Like, hey, he, right. she would, she not play. Right. So she, as you long know, as you he, working, this girl's from the Bronx, so she don't okay. play. So okay, she, she don't play. Yeah, yeah, she, you know what I'm saying? She stay with the patrol. My guy, she like, my guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like she will, she will take off her earrings and, and a uh, drop nah. of a hat. Like nah, she will do it. She'll do. She don't do no physical things. She just let you know. Like, oh, okay. don't. That, that's my man. So I'm gonna be She might though. Yeah. She nah, nah. I see her many times. I was like, I get, I get scared. I get nervous when I see them. She's going. She goes wait. Oh, oh, oh no! She just told her. All right. All right. Okay. All right. She, all right. She, 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 like, she, she can keep her composure. That's I was like, good. Oh, good. I save money on bail. Money. Yeah, yeah, you know, know that's a very important characteristic. That is a good in a woman. You know, you know what it is. Right. It's like that Phoebe skill from Friends. You know, yeah. she like go off. She whisper at the person. They shake hands amicably and walk away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She do that with your fans. Absolutely. That's awesome. But she cool. I like. I really appreciate her all the time. So cool. cool. That's that's her. Yeah. So, um, concert. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, so, like, you gotta give us the story of the concert. Like, for those, wow, like, yes. paint the picture for, for yeah. those who have set never the been there. Like, set the scene, set man. The scene. Like, was it like an ocean of people over there? No. All just like, like, it, like, yo. This is actually bigger than the last two Blur concerts we yeah. had. Like, okay. like we had, I'm, in, I'm on the main stage. Um, I think they've run the, they had a concert um, by Samus. Shout out to the artist named um, Samus, the rapper. Yes. Um, mm. She was good. And uh, we had a little over time, but it's okay. Um, Sonos, the sound st- visual audio group um, came in. They helped me transition to the party, at the party scene. Wow. Next thing I already had friends outside waiting for me. And as I was trying to get through, they was like, hey, Chris, what's up? What's going on? I was like, hey, what's going on? Uh, y'all cool. ready? Like, you get set up now? <laughs> like, yeah. Because literally the whole entire weekend, everybody's been asking me, when are you going to spend? When are you going to spend? <laughs> like, like, I was like, you out here was having fun at the convention. When you playing, bro? And I was, I was like, like, playing, I was what like, you doing I, here, dog? Like, you should set up. o'clock, I got you. <laughs> I got you. And I get a chance to make posts to let everybody know. But they they heard word of mouth. And yeah, then yeah. next thing you know, 
it was massive. I started playing uh, like a little Beyonce, you know, a little slow, mm-hmm. right. getting my body. All the girl, ladies came down the front. That's what you do. You got to bring it in. Yeah. Yeah. But then, of course, we start off with also a wobble to the line dancing. Right. Of course, yeah. you know, everybody yeah. yeah. set the tone, yeah. get the knees loose. Of course. And then, <laughs> next thing you know, I transitioned into uh, some twerk music. Of course, start off with of a little course. juvenile, the the classic, original the, classic. The meat and potatoes. Yeah. yeah you know, you know I was just like, next thing you know, you see a whole line, people getting ready for that moment that beat drop at the 9 9 yeah. oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> He's like, oh. You know, dudes just looking out there, everybody just kind of just like, huh? <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> the fellas was good. They was happy. They was ready. They was like, yo, step by my man. <laughs> like, uh, you, bro. I see you. I was like, thank you, you bro. He like, thank you, bro. <laughs> so, Bless you, it was great, but it was so crazy. Though. I had never seen so many press cameras in one place. Like, I got all these audio yeah. videos. Guys are like, you know, recording me, taking pictures. And I'm just like, wow. I'm like, hey, I'm grabbing my mic everywhere I go. I'm like, hey, then... Next cameraman, hey, oh my gosh, like it's like <laughs> multiple, like now I know how like right, famous artist feels like. Yeah. When it comes I'm like, get geez. tired of it quick, don't oh, you? Yeah, I'm like, I'm just a regular guy. I mean, I mean, it's nah, nice to record, man. but it's too late now. So I'm like, you in the game, man? Right now, people <laughs> looking for you. You now. in the game, right. man? I'm just playing. So, uh, oh my god, so you got the juice now, brother. The mad juice. So we get, to, we got to the uh, the soca. I mean, I love it. That's my I main thing. Soca, the yeah. soca. So I mean, good. we did follow the leader, jump around. Mm-hmm. But Palancin, I'm like, everybody know when I do Palancin, I, I happens to take my shirt off. Because oh. we, we in Soka, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that, we no, got to wave I, it I in like, the air. So lit. I got my shirt waving in the air. Next thing you know, tell people that one song drop to left and then the right, left, right. And then it just go crazy. Yes. I'm just like, wow. Yeah, that's so, crazy, man. And then uh, I had my boy... Um, I have, I've had before uh, the next DJ come up uh, um, I have a friend of mine uh, I mentioned the last show uh, was Sun Z mm-hmm. um, rapper yeah. uh, she just um, finished the um, performing at the BT Experience uh, last month yeah she got y'all big. doing big things man yeah. you got the squad yeah like, you got she... the you got the all star squad you got the Dreamville squad yeah. you know what I'm saying like the Senpai she... squad yeah. you know like <laughs> Kikachi <laughs> squad yo oh my gosh like <laughs> the Ginyu Force dog <laughs> literally I'm just like so Sunday she did well she performed her hit uh, Joystick and her okay. next um, hit called Senpai I was like mm-hmm. don't worry I told her I made it clear like nobody this is not a song about me so song, she, she did it way before I met uh, her so like I don't know, everything no, 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 no. I'm cleaning it out now you gotta tackle these things head on no, I'm telling people now this ain't about no nah, just cause you made a song called Senpai it ain't me everybody pointing at me I'm like no 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 this ain't about me <laughs> like, no 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 <laughs> Oh, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, you sure it ain't you? I'm, I am 100% sure. You got to hit us like, with the Mori percentage, man. I am 124.5. I am 3,005. 3,005%. So um, she performed well, excellent. And then my boy, who's who's from New York, living in um, DMV, his name is Milton, a.k.a. DJ Scrape. Okay. He blown away. Like, he brought the New York um, vibe to, to mm-hmm. the um, Blur Con at the party and everybody loved it. Everybody enjoyed him and we all had fun times. And also, when we in transition, I decided to play a little alternative rock music because we all listen to all oh, We all do. Yeah. Like, we, we just say that we don't in front of white people. Yeah. Just like, to make them feel uncomfortable yeah. sometimes. I, I now, love hold it. on. What's considered alt rock? Now, to be honest, I've always been rock cons- music confused. Well, I was going to say rock music is actually derived from African Americans. Most African Americans oh, yeah. are the ones who created rock yeah. music in the beginning with. Yes. So it's, oh, it's, yeah. it is our music. We it own is it. our. Of course. We own it. Yeah. Like alternative. Yes. I, I was playing it from uh, Panic of Disco, The Killers. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, Lit, oh, um, okay. Worst Enemies, uh, All the Small Things. And of course, last but not least, um, uh, Lake Park in the end. Um, I decided yeah, to pay yeah. uh, a respectful tribute to a brother named Desmond, aka Etika, YouTuber. Okay. Who yeah, was, Etika. You know, tragically lost. Um, you know, we all had a mo- um, a peaceful tribute to him. Okay. And and kind of, I'm not gonna lie, I was going, I was focusing, but I got choked up because you know, like you know, he was supposed to be at BlurCon. Okay. Dude, yeah, yeah, he was supposed to be there. Can, yeah, can we, wow. For those who don't know, can we just talk about it for a quick second, yeah, just for absolutely. those who are familiar with it? Uh, Atika Et- 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 was a YouTuber who, I, and I don't know exactly what caused him to commit suicide, but 
Mm-hmm. Pretty much, he ended his he ended his life, and uh, it was just a really sad occurrence. Yeah. You know, it was very sad. Like, what, what, what was the reason behind yeah. it happening? Um, it was just a lot of man. It's just a lot of evil people in the world that were just when you're a YouTuber and you yeah. deal with so many people just watching. You have millions of viewers, and and now when things happen like this, now you're like feeling all bad and stuff. Like you guys caused all this. Like, yeah. But in the end, we're it was also a me- mental illness right. issue as well. Right. So this is why I tell all my friends and family, like, we all got to look out for one another. We, it's okay to say that my, I'm not okay. Yep. And, you know, if Absolutely. you need a place to talk, place to talk, just go ahead, place to talk. And even for your friends, your, even your own close friends mm-hmm. reach out to you and you don't want to talk, but get let them get a chance to yeah. help you. Because yeah. it's, never, it's never too late. Depression is real, man. It's depression real. is real. Depression is real. And the thing about depression, too, is that people really don't know when they're going through it. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you know you feel down, but it's like, you can't really tell why. And then it's constant, and people just have a lot going on, man. Yeah. And social media does not help. It does not at help all. at all. It's just no clout in viral craziness. Yeah, like, you know, I think people need to remember that with social media, you know, everyone is flexing. Like, everyone mm-hmm. is flexing. No one is talking about how they yeah. got a flat tire you on a Tuesday. You know what I'm like no one is talking about like yeah I'm under pressure at the job or I'm yeah. under the gun or I got to produce or I'm I'm worried if I can provide or if I'm worried if I can stand up or exactly. you know what I'm saying like everyone has these these things and when you have social media sometimes it's very easy in the midst of everybody trying to flex as hard as possible yep. that yep. these things are that everyone is going through the same thing yeah, and yes. then people start comparing themselves to each other it's like oh worry about yourself man yeah, that's, yeah. that's all that whether matters. you know it or not somebody got it worse off than you I don't care the what it is like somebody always it could always be worse well that and you never know what people you know sacrifice to get these things you know mm-hmm. Fullmetal Alchemist like you know there's yeah. you know they, these guys should blow up arms and legs and yeah. bodies like your you whole know, body did they give up their all did they sell out their soul so that they could be like the next like one hit wonder you don't yeah. know like that yeah. and that would be like but a, that happens too that does happen that happens you know absolutely and uh yeah um last but at least, um, as a closing of the at the party, I got choked up in motion because, you know, I was telling people, you know, I do this for all of you because, like, you guys are amazing. It just gave me an encore shouts and screams, appreciation yeah. and stuff. And it, I hate when people make me cry like that, man. It's <laughs> like it's this. It, it's really amazing. Like people just don't know. Like I literally came from somewhere where I thought I was going to be this big. I was just like doing a simple DJ job at small parties mm-hmm. and stuff. And now I'm doing major conventions and meeting CEOs yeah, and right. introducing music artists and stuff. And I'm just like, wow, I'm just humbly blessed by this. Yeah, like, man. all I can do is just, like, I can't help it if I cry, man, because I've been through so much struggle. And if people knew my entire story, like, you'd be... And I'm just really happy that after the concert, I got so much messages from Instagram, love, Facebook, yeah. and yeah. I had, like, this one person... Um, he hit me up and said, you are definitely an inspiration to me, man, because I was going through so much and they had so much car problems, but mm-hmm. they decided to press their way to BlurCon and they were glad to see me. Yep. I acknowledged them. And then, wow. you know, he's like, I, I made a big inspiration in their hearts. That's and huge. I'm just like, yo, that kind of like hit me real hard. Cause I mean, that's that's probably got to be like, uh, you know, the biggest double edged sword is yeah. of being of of being a celebrity or starting to become a celebrity mm-hmm. is you know at one point you know it's a, it can be annoying or, or invasive at times for mm-hmm. people to you know always take your picture or always want to be around you but at the same time like you cause so much change or you, you cause so much change by just being yourself or you yeah. cause so much change right. by just doing what you love to do and uh, you know I think that's uh, that's amazing I think that's awesome stuff yeah so, that's a great power man mm-hmm. that's a superpower in itself. It yeah, does. like with great, great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, man, man. You like, got great responsibility now, dog. No, man, <laughs> counting on you, bro. I had to. I don't man. know what I would do. I <laughs> had to. Man. I'll tell you, like, it's like I have even young kids, like teenagers, are now looking up to me. Um, yeah. Like yeah. I was like, wow, because one of the mothers sent me a message, and this guy, she literally had a shirt said senpai on it. I was like, no way. I want to post this so bad. Yeah, like, yo, let wait, me have this. Wait till you get 
that chick that get your name tattooed on her face. No. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> on the forehead is yeah, DJ Fingerson. Uh, the whole name, like yeah, not even just Senpai, it's DJ. DJ I'm, I'm just gonna give her the Pikachu meme, like Pika. Like, <laughs> what is that? Like, like what? Like, you know what it is. I'm inspired. <laughs> I'm inspired. Yeah. By inspired you mean that much to me, dog? Oh, too, too much spice. Too much spice. Look like six nine over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, how would you explain, like, I guess, like the treatment, or well, I mean, how would you explain your experience at BlurCon as an entertainer? Like, is it? Oh uh, man, it's just amazing just to be on stage and see all your friends that's and other people that you know from mm-hmm. different cons mm-hmm. that all come together like i see friends from momocon in atlanta um some from new york anime nyc wow. and i was like wow a lot yeah, of these they people travel. they yeah. really travel all the way here for blur con and i got to see all all of them enjoy themselves have a great time and you know, I get to uh, go around the lobby area, get nothing but like respectful hugs and, and mm-hmm. like pictures taken and selfies, and just like just telling them like, no, you were awesome. Then especially at the party, the next day of Sunday, everybody kept coming to me like, yo, like, that's dog, set, that's like, set, that man. Changed yo, changed my life. That yeah, set bro. changed my life. Yo, set that's what we, for the rest of the that, summer, dog. Literally, that's what that's <laughs> what we should do at every con, man. We need that, man. Hey, yeah. bro, like, are you coming out with a mix, bro? Like, is yeah, there like a mix album that I can get, what's man? Good? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's good with the instrumentals? Instrumental. Dude's coming at the sidebar already. Like, 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 so let's just get some instrumental. No, but yeah, you gotta put something out, man. Yeah. You got DJ I, Khaled out here. And, you yeah, know, you can't oh, just let dudes like DJ Khaled out here, man. Blurred experience, no. I just, I'm slowly learning to do music production. Um, I'm really happy that I got a um, Sunsy's producer introduced. She Sunsy introduced me to a producer named Taco. Um, okay. We'll be working close um, for the next couple of weeks, so nice. um, I'll be working on a mix, and then at the same time, I'll be working on a, a project that I will be doing my first um, volume mix okay. of all the music, including anime openings. Mm-hmm. So hopefully, I don't get you know. Punished for playing Yu Yu Hashika opening, but yo, that just not, that don't be lit, dog. Man, I, not, like, I'm yo, like, that's the hype, man. man. I'm that, like, that's my joint. That's, like, it. that's the party starter right yo, there, man. Really? When you want to get it popping, man. Yeah. So, I love that intro. Love it. It's awesome. And then I played uh, the Teen Titans intro. People was oh, like, yeah. what? Yeah. Like, you taking like, them back. How did you do it? I, I love it. <laughs> I don't know. Because like, I do. I like to do sing-alongs. Like, I like to hear the crowd sing the, yeah. long, the song that we sing. Yeah. And I just pull the fader back. And all you hear is them singing the songs. And I'm just like, yes. And then... <laughs> It's working. It's definitely <laughs> working. Like, I got you. I Yo, got you. They're in the mix. So, <laughs> I love it, man. Hey, uh, one thing that I thought, like, that was completely different. There was actually a couple things that I meant to bring up that I saw there that was crazy. Uh, one of which was the barbershop. Oh, having my a, God. Having a barbershop Yo, convention. You got to shape up at a barbershop. They literally Best idea ever. Random ever. barber, dog. Yeah, literally. And you yeah. know they cleaned up too. You know they cleaned up. Yeah, like yeah. there was there was a constant people. Like when I was there, it was just packed with people. Like yo, you you got any spots left for today? I'll come back tomorrow. But yo, wow. you got any? You got yeah, any? You gotta make like, an appointment. Yeah, yeah, make, yeah make appointments making appointments on the spot. Wow. Yeah. And I thought that was vicious because it, and people were getting it in coordination with their their cosplays yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. I thought that was vicious. That was dope. I'm so uh, mad I missed that shop because I'm looking like a wolf right now. I'm sorry, yeah, dog, y'all. Dog, I'm being real. I, I'm like, I, I missed that opportunity. I was like, man, I needed that shape. Up. They were so, good. <laughs> like they were good. They were sharp. You know what I'm saying? The other thing I thought was tight was the. Uh, the Blur Less show. Oh, yeah. With, uh, you said her Maki, name was Maki. Maki. Yeah, Maki. Maki. Oh, oh, goodness. I missed that. Yeah, like, that That was tight. You know, I saw I saw some of it. I saw some of it. Like, I, I could not hang out for the whole full 24-7 <laughs> experience, man. It's I was, all good. It, but it was fantastic. Like, uh, I was saying, like, the panels was really good. Um, they had from Sad and Bougie, so we had a, a young lady yes. named Ashby. Sad and yeah, Sad yeah. and Bougie. Yeah, so basically, it's just a sing along of all the alternative rock music they okay. sing. Um, they also had uh, Stay, it's a panel called um, Stay Fit, Get Lit. Um, my girl and my other friends, um, Mike Flood, Matt Orr, they hosted a fitness 
So if you want to get to your 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 cosplay dream, but you, oh, you yeah. want that body, so yeah, they teach fishy. you. Yeah, they they want to teach you, teach you the ways of getting you know better in shape and you know find okay. cardio routines. Yeah, yeah. get that Killmonger yeah. vibe. You want that it. Killmonger that body, man? Nice. I ain't seen you buff, dog. You got work to get that Killmonger body, man. Literally, they will show you, and they did a great job. And um, my friend Asia, who does the uh, fire uh, technique, she's she does the fire performance. Like, oh, oh, yeah. she actually does like the fire stuff where she eats it spits it yeah. does all the whole night that's vicious Naruto stuff dog oh, she was out there she, she, she fire she, style jutsu I think she's an actual fire jutsu yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when she does it, she does an amazing job. Man. Oh snap! And majestic, outside. majestic fireball. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, my friend Sharifa, who is the owner of Sweet Bit Sweet Bites, uh, she's a J Fashion um, designer. So oh she, yeah. yeah, she has all everything that inspired Japanese um, fashion wear. And she did she did a, uh, a one way show. Wow. It was fantastic. I love it. Like it was an amazing job. That's it cool. was so many panels. So um, many. And like, it, was there anything just like randomly? Tight. Like we, we spoke about Bo Estelle was, was a pleasure to be there. Oh, shout out to Loading Snacks. I saw. I met. I got a chance to meet those guys. Oh, that oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've met them before. They're actually from the network before Rip Radio Network. There are some guys that do uh, video games and stuff on their own. Those okay. are really nice guys as well. I saw them. They were awesome. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh uh, man! Shout out to um, most of all. Most of all, I like about BlurCon is the families. Like I never seen yeah. so many great, beautiful, yes. black, excellent families with yes. the kids all cosplaying all as well. Cosplaying I was together. like, I love it. Yo, like, like that's tight. There to be. piggyback on that, shout out to the frats that were there. Oh man, like, frats coming! I through, ran into yeah. a frat brother. Uh, Sigma was out there. I think a Kappa might have been out there as a they Spider-Man. They was representing, dog. Yeah, we was yeah. out there. It was, it was awesome. out there. Like, uh, shout out to my bro. But um, yeah, I, and I was kind of looking for. Him. I was like, I know he' about to be it because well, he he likes to cosplay. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, I was like, I know he's gonna be here. And lo and behold, me and D were just standing, there and he walks. Yeah, up. just like, a random stranger. He's like, "What's up, dog? What's going on? <laughs> like, what, what, what's, like, what are these guys? Yeah, like, what's going on yeah. here?" Yeah. Awesome. Had to had to say what's up. But um, yeah, shout out to that. But that that too made me proud too because it's like. You know, frats on these black campuses get, you know, it's like a double edged sword with the, you know, oh, you think you better than us because you you in the frat now. Nah, man, we out here, too. Yeah. Yeah. We like, like we this out here. stuff, too. I mean, come I, on. I thought that was fantastic. Like, I, I, I think like the other ways that they're including the or uh, how the cosplaying community is including other different types of communities yeah. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um. I really, you know, when I uh, when I had Hilton on the show and he was talking about like diversity and inter- intersectionality and all that oh, yeah. stuff, I, I thought those were just really like highly complicated words that I had to Google later on. <laughs> but you know, to, after googling those words yeah. and going to BlurCon, like I, I I really got an idea, the yeah. sense of what he's talking about. You know, yeah. of like everyone, everybody. everyone just getting along, everyone yeah. just like, hey, you're cool, just be who, be Absolutely. yourself. And that's like, the thing, you could be yourself. yourself. Yes, literally, exactly who you were. You don't have to act different for anybody. It's like we all interested in the same thing. You're exposed now. Yeah, yeah. like just be yourself now. Yeah, like you're we, here. We're all exposed. You're there's now. nothing. Yeah. To, there's nothing to feel exposed about. Yeah, like, yeah. hey, you're safe. Like this is a safe yeah, place. It's like very safe. You know what I'm saying? Like it's totally cool to like Pokemon. Shout out to that guy who was dressed up as a pimp named Slickback. Oh yeah, yeah. that guy he didn't corrected anybody. Job. You got to say the whole oh, thing. Man. You got to say the, the whole Slickback. Thing. Oh, man. I love that guy. That guy yeah. really made it for you. Was there anybody else who really made like a cosplay or a random person that just made it for you there while man, you was there? It was the dude dressed like the Dark Magician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was yeah. funny because I, I saw him eating uh, the the, 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 the chipped sh- ice yeah. in, uh, in his mask. Like yeah. he he was like Straight eating table, in his mask. Son. It was funny as heck. Uh, shout out to the, the cosplayer Miss Marvel. She um, she's she was body. She's an actual body, body fitness builder. Comp- yeah, body okay. builder fitness mm-hmm. competitor. She dre- cosplays Miss Marvel. That was that was awesome. Wow, that was shout I out to that. Her. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. She was out there. Right? All right, I got mm-hmm. so. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
like I saw it. But a right. um, major shout out to Hilton and Hilton. Haas, um and the staff ha- of Blurcon. Yes. You guys are the real MVP. Thank yeah, you for man. making a safe haven for us to enjoy ourselves, be yeah. ourselves, and just have a great time. So this is one big shout out to you and shout out to Mariah, my girl. Of and course. Shout better. Out to you better. Shout out to like, go ahead and say, I love yeah. you, baby. I, love you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I do it all want. the time. I love you, baby, my wife. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, shout out to my squad. My DMV squad, shout out to my Atlanta Church. squad, shout out to my New York squad, Church. shout out to my LA squad. Yes, they sir. even hit me up uh, yeah. on the West Coast. Coast so, to coast, baby. I know, You're right? Getting worldwide with it, man. It's yeah. awesome. So I just want to thank, first of all, I want to just give God the um, blessings above everything because he it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. Mm-hmm. I want to thank my family, my mom, dad, my sister, and my niece. And just want to thank uh, my church, Ebenezer Amy Church. Amy. Okay. Ebenezer, and, really? You know, yeah. yeah. Small man. world, small world. Pastor Granger Bradley, Pastor Joanne Bradley, man. Yeah, That's my people. Yeah, right. So I'm hip. So you know, shout out to my young adult ministry. We getting ready for our young adult uh, summit this weekend. So give a shout out to everybody through there. And that's it, man. That's all my shout outs so far, man. Hey, thank hey. you, thank you, DC Radio, man. Thank you, hey. DC Radio. Thank you for letting cosplay do do what you do here. Thank you guys so much. All right, we know <laughs> yeah. we gonna end on that. And this is yeah. Co Play Media. Media. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's lit. It's lit, lit now. You've been listening to CoPlay Media with hosts Diers and Demo. For more information on CoPlay Media and the Blurred Community, visit coplaymedia.com or the CoPlay Media page at dc.radio.gov. You spend the first hour of your vacation at the luggage carousel thinking there's nowhere to go but up. But there is a place to go but up. Because when you open your suitcase, you find it filled with dolls. Dolls like the ones in that movie that scared you so much you wet your girlfriend's bed. Ah, Marissa, the one that got away. You return the bag to the airport with relief. It lasts until you get back to your room, where a fallen doll waits to greet you. Don't let a suitcase full of dolls ruin your vacation. Go on a real vacation. GoRVing.com. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive save over $700 on average, and those savings add up. Imagine what you could buy in the future. So I used the savings from switching to Progressive 30 years ago to buy tickets to the championship game. You know, between those two teams that didn't exist 30 years ago? Yeah, I'm a big Alaska Palm Trees fan. Which is a team now, in the future. So switch to Progressive and save big, because those savings can add up in the future. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. National annual average insurance savings by new customer surveyed who saved with Progressive in 2020. Potential savings will vary.